At this point, I think we're ready to get started with the first drawing. If we go down on our classroom page, we find the section under day four, download one dash one straight lines. I'm going to right click on that link, save the link as, and I'm going to navigate to my AutoCAD folder where I'm saving all of my files and save that. Go ahead and minimize my browser and in that AutoCAD folder we have drawing 1-1.dwf. Now DWF extensions are for Autodesk Design Review Program files and if we open that up that will launch Autodesk Design Review and this particular program is a free program put out by AutoCAD that allows you to review drawing files and what we're going to use this for is and we're going to be using this program and this setup to help us with our drawings because I'm going to provide you with some drawings and you're going to duplicate those drawings in AutoCAD. The nice thing about this program is we can left click once and move our mouse around and that allows us to pan our drawing. We can zoom in by rolling the wheel in or out and we can zoom in really 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 close however close we want to and that will help us take a look at uh, the different information on this drawing as well as the measurements that we're going to need to do the drawing. Now there's a couple different ways you can go about doing the drawing. If you have a dual monitor setup you can dock the design review drawing on a different monitor and then have your actual AutoCAD drawing on a separate monitor. That works out pretty good. Uh, you could print out this drawing and have a hard copy in front of you as you draw it. Another method that you could do which isn't as great is you could dock AutoCAD on one side. You could have your design review file on the other side of your screen but it does limit you to the screen real estate because it's there's not a lot to work with so this method I, I don't really recommend. Uh, another way you could have both of these programs maximized on your screen and we can hold the alt key and press the tab key and that allows us to toggle between various things that we're working on. So if we have our AutoCAD program open and we have our design review program open we can quickly do alt tab and jump between those two programs. That method works pretty good so we know this line is 8 inches alt tab and we'd want to draw our line 8 inches alt tab and you know this line is 3 inches and we could jump back and forth. The ideal setup is to have two monitors. It, it works easiest and it's just uh, less confusing, less flashing of the screen. So to get started on our first drawing, we have our drawing, which we downloaded, and we launched AutoCAD. I'm going to come up to the application menu, go down to New, select the desktop where my TD template is located at, and load the TD template at this point I am ready to begin drawing and what I want you to do is work through this first drawing by yourself it will be extremely difficult I guarantee it because you are learning the different functions within the program and 
this first drawing will probably actually be one of the hardest drawings that you do because you are learning these different fundamental skills. So work through this drawing and then watch the next video where I work through the drawing and give you a few pointers to help things go a little bit smoother.